Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Jacob prophesies that from his son Judah will come the dynasty that will rule Israel. Despite the weaknesses of Judah and his descendants, God makes good his plan. From Judah comes the house of David and eventually the Messiah. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, show your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have gone up on prey. 
my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would you dare arouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the song his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. O wisdom of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron, the father of Ram. Ram, the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon became the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shaltiel. The fa Shaltiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiyod. Abiyod became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. 
Martin the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus who is called the Christ. The total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po sa simbahan ng Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Pakibati naman ang katabihin ng good evening. Ayan. Pakigising, baka tulog na. Welcome sa pangalawang araw ng ating pagnunubina bago magpasko. Kung mapansin ninyo sa aking binasa ngayon, marahil hindi nyo naintindihan. Ano pinagbabasa ni Father? Puro pangalan. Hindi namin naintindihan. Huwag kayong mag-alala, pati po ako hindi ko rin po maintindihan. Ito lang naman po ang tinatawag natin na ancestry of Jesus. Bakit? Ito na tayo, bakit? It is to prove that Jesus Christ is human. It is to prove the humanity of Jesus Christ na ang Diyos ay pumasok sa history ng tao na tao din. Hindi sa yung bigla na lang lumitaw dyan. Bigla na lang sa bayan ng Israel, biglang dumating si Kristo doon, biglang sinabi, repent, wala. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang angkan. At bakit ganito ang introduction ni Matthew sa kanyang gospel? Ito yung pinakauna, the introduction of Matthew. It is one to prove the humanity of Jesus Christ through His ancestors, ancestry. Doon may kita na tao, pagiging tao ng Diyos. At kung titignan din natin, bakit ganon ang introduction ni Matthew, puro mga pangalan, mga tao? Because during that time, during that time, ang mga Hudyo, yung audience niya actually ay mga Hudyo. At ang mga, Jew, Jew, ang mga Jews and Hudyo during that time, gustong gusto nila niyang marinig yung genealogy, yung pinanggalingan ng iyong angkan. Ganon sila. Kaya nung sinasabi ito ni Matthew, o nakasulat ito sa panahon ni Matthew, because the audience at this very time ay mga Hudyo na obsessed na obsessed sa kanilang genealogy sa kanang pinanggalingan at palagi nilang inano yan na kailangan connected tayo doon kay Abraham the father of all nations at dito rin makikita natin kung mapansin ninyo may dalawang pangalan dito na medyo obvious na obvious David sa kay Abraham Matthew traces back to Abraham it is for them, for the Jewish people, to have that nationhood. Kasi ang mga Hudyo, ang tatay nila, si Abraham. Kaya kahit kahal saan ka na mapunta sa mundong ibabaw na ito, pag Hudyo ka, mataas ang respect mo kay Abraham. Bakit si David? It is also to show that in the prophecy, may pinangakong hari. At sino po yun? Si Jesus Christ. Kaya nga, tinraise ni Matthew yung kingship ni Jesus Christ, the messianic kingship actually, doon kay David. Kaya lahat ng mga Hudyo, palaging connected daan. No? Kaya ngayon, ang tanong ngayon sa atin, proud ba kayo sa angkan ninyo? Proud kayo? Mga angkan na mga po ano, Meron akong nabasa ng isang quote na magandang i-share. Sabi, If we know where we came from, we may better know where to go. If we know who we came from, we may, be we may better understand who we are. Kung alam natin ang ating pinanggalingan, 
mas mabuti at malalaman natin ang ating patutunguhan. At kung alam natin kung kanino tayo nang galing, mas maintindihan natin ang ating mga sarili. Never forget our ancestry. Kaya proud ba tayo sa ating mga angkad? Proud ba tayo sa ating mga pamilya? After all, lahat naman tayo ay babalik. Itatrace natin sa Diyos. Pero as human as we are, dito, marami activities ngayon. Pag Christmas, ano po? Family reunion. ba? Diba? Uso ngayon ang family reunion. Kahit saan ka magpunta, saan saan ka galing, uuwi ka ng manawag, uuwi ka kung saan kang probinsya pag Christmas time. Uuwi ka. At madalas pa naman, kapag ka reunion, dito lumalabas yung may K ka na ba? May kaya ka na ba? Yung iba naman, may kayabangan ka na ba? Dito lumalabas na kapag ka family reunion, dito mo nakikita ang iyong mga kamag-anak na kuminsan pag initinitrace mo, mapapa, oh, sige na nga. At madalas pa sa atin, sa totoo lang, ito yung madalas, ha? we always identify ourselves with people who are successful, people who are good. Pansin ninyo yan? Sa totoo lang ako, personally, nung seminarista pa lang ako, hanap ako ng hanap na aking mga anak ang hirap hanapin. Nung napari na ako, nung napari na ako, nag-Thanksgiving mass sa Dabao, nagulat ako na yung simbahan pala kayang punuin ng kamag-anak ko. Sabi ko, saan to ba nga nung naghirap ako? Madalas tayong ganan. Kapag ka masika, sikat, maganda, gwapo, talent, talentado, o ano pa man, naku, kamag-anak namin yan. Yung may singer doon sa ano, ang galing-galing kumanta. Kaapilido mo. Ah, kamag-anak namin yun. Ganun tayo, di ba? Pero kapag ka medyo, ano, kakaiba yung karakter, uy, merong kaapilido mo nung nabaril doon sa ano, kasi drag pusir. Hindi namin ka mag-anak ko, kapilido lang yun. Eh, di ba, ano yun ang nanay mo? Uh, eh, hindi ah. We are so quick to deny the bad and the good. And sometimes, the bad. No? Mas madali tayong mag-identify kapag ka mabuti ang nagagawa o ginagawa. Pero pag masama, sino yan? Kung titignan natin yung genealogy ni Jesus Christ, it is actually for all on our part, it is a consolation on our part. Bakit? Kasi kung titingnan natin yung mga karakter na binasa sa Ebanghelyo, may mga tao dito, meron ditong prostitute. Imagine mo, ancestry discuss, may prostitute, may manluloko, may traidor, at marami pang iba. Maraming kasalanan, makasalanan. So kung titignan natin, even the ancestry of Jesus Christ, merong masasama at merong mabubuti. Kaya huwag na nating salain ang ating ancestry. After all, kung sino man yung nandyan, kapamilya natin yan. ba? Diba? Madali tayong ganun eh. I always remember this. Meron akong naging kaibigan na nagtanong talaga sa akin, sa pamilya nila, yung nanay sa kayong tatay, very religious, everyday nagsisimba. Yung mga kapatid, mababait, except sa isa. Yung isa, nagloko, nagkaroon ng kabit, nasira yung pamilya. Sabi sa akin nung ano eh, nanay, Father, Anong pong kasalanan ko? Sabi ko sa kanya, actually, wala po kayong kasalanan. Itatakwil na ba namin, Father? Sabi ko, well, bahala kayo. Anak niyo yan. Sabi ko, give him space. 
Binigyan nga ng space. Bumalik din naman. Na-erase ba yung kanyang kasalanan? Hindi. Nabuisit ba yung mga kapatid niya? Yes. Nagbago ba siya? Yes. Proud ba kayo sa angka ninyo? Kasi kahit ang Diyos, kung titingnan natin, colorful ang ancestry. Pero sa tingin ko po, kung titingnan natin yung ibang hilang binasa natin, meron din yung tinatawag na mga babae doon. Sa Jewish culture kasi, during those times, kapag kababae ka, wala kang identity. Yung identity mo, yung rights mo, nakaugat sa lalaki, sa asawa mo, sa anak mo na lalaki. And yet, Matthew include them, included them, yung mga babae, na medyo kaduda-duda ang karakter. Dito natin makikita na ang gospel ay para sa lahat. Na ang grasya ng Diyos ay para sa lahat. Ang awa ng Diyos ay para sa lahat. There is no such thing as perfect ancestry. There will be black, gray, whatever color it may be. But what is important is this, that the Lord will grant us the necessary graces, not just to accept them, but to learn from them. Mapapansin nyo yan, kahit sa pamilya natin, hindi perfecto. There is no such thing as a perfect family. That is why, when we celebrate Christmas, tanungin natin ang reason bakit tayo nag-celebrate ng Christmas. Bakit po? Because God never give up on loving on us. Never po nag-give up ang Diyos sa pagmamahal niya sa atin. Christmas do happen because God never lose sight of the goodness of man. Yan po ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nagsiselebrate ng Christmas. God never lose sight of the goodness of man. Kaya nga ang Diyos sa pamagitan ng kanyang angkan, pumasok sa isang pamilya. Tandaan po natin din po ito. Na kung minsan sinasabi nila, Father, ang Christmas ay para sa mga bata. Hindi po. Hindi lang po para sa mga bata. Para din po sa pamilya. Pamilyang nag-struggle, pamilyang sinusubo, pamilyang perhaps, sabihin na natin, Father, perfect na kami. Okay, congratulations. Para po sa atin lahat. Sapagat ang Diyos ay pumasok sa isang pamilya. Tandaan natin to, Pumasok siya sa isang pamilya. Sa angkan ni Jose at si angkan ni Maria. Merong ina at merong ama. God entered into our history through a family. But the ancestry of these families, they are not perfect. Kaya kung titinan nyo, maaaring hindi man perfecto ang ating ancestry, hindi man perfecto ang ating pamilya, what is important is this, that the grace of God, hopefully, may be at work in our own family. Sa totoo lang po, yung kwenento ko sa inyo, sabi niya, Father, yung matanda na yung kanyang anak ay medyo nagloko. Give him space. Tapos sabi niya, Father, para magigive up na ako eh. Sabi ko, that's the last thing that you should do. Giving up on loving your son. Kapag ka give up po yan, wala nang babalikan ang anak mo. Sina pa ba ang babalikan niya? Di ba? Pamilya din. Sabi niya, o nga, Father, no? Kaya ang ginawa niya, dasal na siya ng dasal hanggang sa eventually nagbago ang kanyang anak. Bumalik sa pamilya, sa kanyang pamilya at bumalik sa kanilang angkan. Bagamat marumi, tinanggap pa rin sapagkat ganun talaga ang nagmamahal. You never lose sight of the goodness of the person that you love. Kaya kapag tayo po ay nakatingin din sa krus, Di naman, dyan din natin makikita kung ang pagmamahal ng Diyos that God will never give up on us. No matter how imperfect 
our ways, our families, our ancestry. Sabi nga, in God, there is no past so bitter that God cannot accept. And there are, there are no sins so grave that God cannot forgive. Ang pamilya hindi perfecto. Ang importante, we don't give up on loving each other. Sana sa Christmas po, buo ang ating angkan, buo ang ating pamilya. Though many, perhaps not perfect, at kapag atitingnan natin ang isa't isa, sana masabi natin, ito ba yung angkan ko? Ito ba yung pamilya ko? Thanks be to God. Let us all start. Amid the, visited, the visitudes of life, we invoke your presence, O God, who walk with us and order everything for our good. With confidence and for every petition we shall answer, Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. That your holy church, embracing saints and sinners alike, may encourage her children to incessantly pursue the path of renewal, we pray. That we may respond to your love, Father, who save us, to see you in others, to welcome outsiders, and to seek the good of our brothers and sisters, we pray. That we may not allow the sins and scandals in our family life or the corruption in the church and in our society to overcome and goodness and goodwill in people's heart, we pray. That we may not succumb to the temptation of discouragement and despair because of the evils and tragedies in the world, we pray. That we may have the strength to endure difficult situations especially in this time of pandemic, and to find blessings and lessons that they contain, we pray. That all who have died, especially in our own natural families, may be welcomed with joy and peace in your kingdom, we pray. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Generous Father, make us able to see your hand blessing us even in difficult and trying moments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished by, with the bread of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sister. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
his name. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy Lord. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of pers perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solid solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and saviors of the nations, politics is your gift to us a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant a desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bago po ikaw ang huli po babasba sa isang taos po sumuko sa salamat po sa ating lectors and commentators, sa atin pong uh, Eucharistic ministers, maraming salamat po. Sa atin din pong mga servers, maraming salamat po. At sa atin din pong choir na kumanta ngayon, maraming salamat po. At sa inyong lahat po na dumalo ngayon, isang taos po sumuko sa salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other news articles. In, memories, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.